Today, I'd like to speak about what is going on in our world, beginning with our two neighbors. Now, if you think that America's first policy prevents us from being affected by what is going on in the world, you are badly mistaken. If you like guacamole or avocado, you are in big trouble because USDA just banned the importation of avocado from Mexico, actually a state called Michoacan. Michoacan is the only state from which America imports avocados. They provide eight out of 10 avocados consumed in the United States. What about Canada? Freedom Convoy truckers who were told to get vaccinated in order to drive their truck into the United States decided that they're going to rise up against the mandate. They have parked their large vehicles in Ottawa, their capital, in front of their parliament building. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is very upset. He even equated these truckers to the racist terrorist group. President Biden pulled all the troops out from Afghanistan. But now, a few months later, we are pulled into another war, Ukraine. You could say, America first, we will not go into any war that is not ours, but here we are being pulled in. Not too long ago, Chinese professional tennis player, Peng Shuai, made an allegation through Weibo that former vice premier of China sexually Software. WTA decide to withdraw from any tennis tournament held in China, they're going to lose millions of dollars. Victor Gao, a very important Chinese diplomat, when you disengage from China, that may be the beginning of your nightmare. NBA, full of power, money, they cave in. But it is WTA that stood hard. Are you concerned about what is going on in Mexico, in Canada? Are you concerned about what's going on in Ukraine? You should, 